What's up YouTubers, all nine of you, welcome to my humble page. And uh, today I'm gonna go over my collection. Um, let's see, Zach posted a comment that asked for more videos and Logan asked for a video of my video game collection. So um, I'm gonna show you my video game collection. As you can tell from the videos I've posted thus far, I'm a big fan of Super Nintendo. I think I have like 256 games or so. I'm not going to go through all of them, but just a quick overview. I have that uh, Super Mario World Complete in Box system. I got that from an old coworker for 20 bucks, so that's like a steal nowadays. Got the cleaning kit for five bucks locally. Um, a lot of these games, I wouldn't say all of them I got in the wild. I went through a huge uh, fee bay time in my collection life, and I got a lot of them off of uh, Phoebe, mostly the uncommon ones, but actually I have a lot of commons, I have a lot of sports titles, because at one point I set out to just complete the entire Super Nintendo collection, so I got a lot of my sports titles for 50 cents, so that's where the bulk of it is, but it's not all just throwaway games, I do have some uh, really good games in here, some rare ones, some expensive ones. And all the like. And actually, let me go back down here. Here are the boxed titles I have. I believe most of these are complete in box CIB. The most pristine ones are in the collector's cases like Donkey Kong 1 and 2, Mega Man X, uh, Sparkster, and Super Mario World. Sparkster, that's an interesting title right there. I got the box insert and manual for like five bucks because my buddy Kendall told me to buy it and. This was like in the early collecting days for the both of us and it was a really really good move because that shot up in price and it's really expensive. So actually all of my Super Nintendo games are in alphabetical order and anytime I add a new game in it's a hassle because you have to redo the entire shelving structure of all these carts but it's worth it. Here's my 9 port shelf with my systems. PS2 doesn't fit, so it goes to the side. Currently I do not have a 64, but I have 64 games. Got the NES top loader, Super Nintendo GameCube, the Jenny, the Toaster NES, and good old PS1. I have some handhelds in here, but I'm not going to go through those because I'm not really a handheld collector. I think they're kind of lame. Over here we have the Wii U and the Wii games. I haven't really played actually most of these. There is a, an online game for Wii U that my fiance plays, like a balancing game. I've played that. I get to play Pikmin 3, but I beat the first one and I'm on to the second one. I played Donkey Kong, uh, Tropical Freeze, and uh, some Super Smash, but that's about it. And I have not even touched any of these Wii games. Maybe Mario Kart in the early days and Smash Bros. Brawl with some friends, but that's about it. Not really a big fan of the Wii. I think the Wii U is way better, but I still just have not played it that much. Over here, we have my Xbox One video game collection. The funny thing about this is my fiance has more games than I do. <laughs> I have Fallout 4 and Bioshock, and the rest she plays. So she's a big Far Cry fan, so we got her the Primal and 4. Bioshock collection, I thought that was so good. I thought Bioshock 1 and 2 were fantastic, but I was not a fan at all of the third one. Fallout 4 was pretty cool. It fell pretty short of expectations, though. I still think Fallout 3 is way better, in my opinion. But yeah, here's my small collection of uh, Xbox One games. Not a video game, but uh, this is a painting my fiancé got me for Christmas. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Big Dragon Ball Z fan. Moving on over here. I just put all the boxes and this big old figure up there. I have the World of Nintendo Bowser and the TMNT Goblet. Moving on, we have my NES collection. It was way bigger. I scaled down and actually I gave a, a bulk of them to my buddy Kendall. Let's see, we have uh, here's the elusive Mega Man series, less Mega Man 5 because that one. I think it still goes for around 85 now. I have a spare top loader right there. I actually got that SpaghettiOs from an old coworker as well. 
We have uh, Super Mario 1, 2, and 3 CIB. I got those pretty early on. I just thought they'd be really cool to have. And then most of my NES games are pretty decent. Nothing like rare, nothing crazy. I think the only rare games I have are a few of these Mega Man ones. Down here I have the PS2 and the PS1. I got a few long boxes. Gex, Destruction Derby, Tekken, and Jumping Flash. For the PS1, let's see, nothing really too crazy yet. I have Tomba 1. I got rid of Tomba 2. Um, I think one of my other friends bought that on uh, at a Columbus convention. It may have been retro vinyl video games and beer, I forget. PS2 games, nothing really crazy. I had uh, the entire Dragon Ball Z series, last maybe one, and I got rid of those. Wasn't really a fan, and I guess I probably couldn't even get rid of Dragon Ball Z Budokai 1. But Budokai 3, Tenshinaki 3, or whatever it's called, I had that one. I think I got that for a pretty good price, and I ended up getting rid of it. I scaled down my collection, so I just have video games that I like. Champions of Norath, that was a throwback. I used to love Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboarder. Um, Midnight Club was awesome. I remember, I remember beating that. That was a good game. Moving on to GameCube. Pretty solid titles. Mario Kart. Luigi's Mansion, I just recently beat that again. Pikmin 2, Smash Bros. Melee, um, Paper Mario, Pikmin, pretty solid titles. And some random figures, not really well placed, but they're there. And then just the miscellaneous down here, we have uh, the Wii U, Super Smash Bros. That multi-pack, it came with the game, the controller, and the adapter. And then I got that for my fiance for Christmas. I also got her the an additional controller. I think I got a pretty good deal on both of those. And in the back there somewhere I have I have like three two or three Genesis titles like Sonic like one and two, maybe three. And then I have some 64 games, which like I said at the moment I do not have a 64. There is a, a big trade I made to some video game store in Ann Arbor. And I really got, I really wanted uh, Mega Man X, I think it was 3, and I traded in some titles to get that. So, decent titles here as well. Diddy Kong Racing, Majora's Mask, that was pretty uncommon. Mega Force, I didn't even know that was 464 until I found it in the wild one time. Banjo Kazooie. There's some other decent titles in here. I'm a big fan of Paper Mario. 64, or uh, Mario Kart 64, Banjo Tooie, Mega Man 64. And then I just have Mario Party 1, Super Mario 64, Ocarina of the Time, and then the Ever Classic Pokemon Snap. And that should be my entire collection. I scaled down a lot, I had way more than this. It was overcrowded. I had a lot of uh, filler titles and stuff I didn't really play. But what I did have, I got rid of to just get better titles. Namely, where is it? At yeah, Evo. That's a pretty expensive title. I remember I sold a lot of games to get that. And I believe the same day at a convention I got uh, Chrono Trigger. There's a couple others. Random titles. I'm not sure what else. But. Uh, Got Earthbound on the screen now. So that's my collection. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like and comment if you have any questions or you saw any games that you maybe want to see a video of. Let me know. I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching.